All right. Um, in this video, I just want to give you a very quick tip, really easy and simple to, to implement for your profile. Let me just zoom in quite a bit. So your, your profile may look a little bit different. If you're viewing it on your phone or on your computer, then it might look a bit different. I'm just zooming in. Uh, that's too far. That will do. Um, so one of the things I would suggest, again, there's loads that I could uh, talk about here, um, and there's, there's multiple areas that, that I, even for our, our profile, I'd like to improve. But one thing that I'd like to share with you that I think you can put in place really, really simply is this. One of the most important parts of your entire profile, often overlooked, is this. And what I mean by that is the first line of your description or of your bio. Um, now, you get multiple characters. You can have a number of lines that you can include in your bio. You can see here we've got four lines divided up and it shares a little bit about what we do and our credibility and such. Um, but far and away, I'm going to suggest that the most important line that you get right is this one here, which is the top one. Now, it's not as easy for me to demonstrate on here why that is so important, but certainly if you view Instagram and if you're checking out Instagram on your phone, Okay, and every device is different. So some phones are much bigger, obviously the latest iPhones and Samsungs and things, so there's a bigger phone, bigger screen. But some phones are a lot smaller and they've got therefore a smaller screen. And so what tends to happen is on Instagram, if you go to somebody's profile, then particularly if they're viewing it on a smaller screen, what it will do is it will only show the first line, maybe two lines of the profile, and then it will say, see more, okay? Now, the problem is, if it says see more, then all of this information here is lost. How many times do you press see more? Eh, sometimes, but again, it's another obstacle, it's another step for people understanding more about you and ultimately how you might be able to help them and your credibility as well. So one of the things I'm gonna recommend is that you take time to really focus on getting your first line of your bio, of your profile, right. Now, many, many people will, will use this, and I would recommend that you use this, as a tool to position you. So if you have, for example, a book, like a, a best-selling book on Amazon or New York Times, if you have a, 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 um, an award-winning uh, program or if you've won awards in the past, if you're particularly certified, it has to be something that's relevant to your audience. And that's the key thing, okay? You're creating your profile. If you're a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a brand, you are creating your profile really for your audience. It's not about you. Okay, when people use social media for social purposes, you know, if you're using it just to, to, to share pictures of my holidays and my families and my dog and my cat and my coffee, then yeah, I'm gonna make it all about me and I'm gonna, you know, inflate my ego. But if you're a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, you're making it for your ideal client in a way that's going to attract your ideal client. So if you've won particular awards, if you have particular certifications in your area, and your ideal client is gonna recognize that as something that they want, put it in there. Whatever you can identify, whatever you can find that's gonna help you stand out. Now, if you think, Jake, well, I don't have something like that, I don't have anything that stands out, then what about the amount of experience that you've got? How many years have you been in business? Or if it's a new business, how many years have you been working with people? How many years have you been an educator? How many years have you been a specialist? How many years have you been training for this? How many years have you been getting coached and mentored? How many years have you been investing in yourself? All these types of things, whatever that might be. And if you're still thinking, well, I'm not too sure, well, what about focus on a location? Okay, so one of my goals, and again, how do you, how do you judge it? How do you, you measure it? Yeah, I'm not too sure. One of my goals was to be the top Instagram marketer in the UK. That was the goal, okay? And for a long time, I kind of said that. I didn't really know what it meant. I didn't really know how it was gonna be marked or how it was gonna be judged. And actually, the more I think about it, I'm not even that bothered about it, to be honest. <laughs> so long as we can focus on helping our clients, and we have a number of clients in the US and, and beyond. So it, it, whether I am or not, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me either way. But the key thing, uh, the, the focus on here is, how do we identify something that's credible and useful for our clients? They might care if I was the top Instagram marketer in the UK, they might not. And either way, I don't think it really matters. So. What you could focus on, if you might think, well, I'm not the best in the UK or in the US or in Canada or in Australia or in South Africa or whatever it might be, then what about smaller? What about the city? Okay, so I could have Manchester, for example. And if you're not the best in your city, then what about in your town or in your in your street, right? Don't, if you're thinking, well, that's not me, I couldn't do that, I couldn't possibly find something to rave about and shout about in my first line, then immediately you're putting obstacles in the way. So find the thing that is relevant 
to you, yes, but specifically for your ideal client. So when they land on your profile, they say, oh, that's great. I'm looking for somebody who is qualified in this. So I'm looking for somebody who's got experience with that. I'm looking for somebody that can help me with X, Y, Z. Then immediately you're going to stand out. And just one final thing I'd say on that is that our taglines you can see here, it's not about awards. It's not about how long I've been doing it. Um, it's not about um, it's not about me, it really. The, the goal is not for this to be about us. What we've actually done it, and we've positioned it slightly differently, is that it's about our clients. In other words, our clients have generated, people that we've worked with, companies that we've worked with, have generated over $14 million in sales in five years. Now, the reason that we put that in, I want to emphasize, is that to focus on the clients, because I really want to emphasize when people come to us that they see, ah, this is somebody that actually is, is getting results with people. Okay, They're focused on working with their clients and they're getting remarkable results. Because of course, what we're looking to do, we're looking to attract more clients. We want to bring more people that are going to work with us. And so what do people want when they're looking to get results? They want to see results. They want to see other people like them that get results. And so the reason that we went with this specific line is to emphasize that it's not just about us. People don't care how much money we make. Okay, of course they don't. Why, why would they be interested in that? They care about how much money they can make, certainly from a, a business point of view. So we've tried to make this about the client and about the people that they're working with. So just something for you to consider. Uh, you might have totally overlooked it, but the recommendation, if you're gonna focus, of course you're gonna get your name, you wanna get your name right, of course you wanna grow your audience, we'll talk about that, of course you want the name of your camera, of course you wanna get an engaging picture and such, all that's fine. You wanna have a useful link where people can go uh, and they can ultimately join your, your database. But one of the things that is often overlooked, and I would still put a great emphasis on this, is the first line in your profile, the first line in your bio, and showcase how you can help your ideal client. All right, hope that was useful and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.